Hello and welcome England fans and hopefully some Iranian fans who are watching this video as well. So this is it. England versus Iran is less than one week away. And this is going to be my updated match prediction for England's opening game at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. <laughs> So it's finally here, England versus Iran. I am so nervous, it is unbelievable. I always am before England start off a tournament. Starting a tournament with a win, I think, is so important. It is no coincidence that in the past two tournaments, England starting with a victory against Tunisia and Croatia set us on our way to doing well at the tournament. I have no doubt about that. Get a win and it takes the pressure off, particularly if you're a team that is expected to win the group matches. And that is what England are within this group. The neutral would put England as favourites to win all three of their group games. Therefore, starting with a victory just takes that added pressure that comes with being favourites within a group off of your shoulders, and it just settles everybody down. The fans, the players, the manager, it's the perfect start. So England, as I've said, have won their past two opening games in two tournaments at the Euros and the previous World Cup. Can England do it again, though? The key for England, like it always is, is whether we can take our chances. Putting the ball in the net. If we can score an early goal, the pressure's off. England are then going to be comfortable, and I think it will be a comfortable victory. This Iranian side, though, do not concede goals. The longer the game goes on, the harder it it's going to be to break them down and I, I have got that feeling it's going to be tighter than what I thought it was going to be but I don't see Iran winning this game I really don't in no scenario in my head do I see Iran beating us on the night I just feel like with England's squad depth we'll, we'll see an awful lot of the ball I just don't see a scenario where Iran can beat England I really don't if England starts slowly though and Iran do nick a goal I tell you what the upset would be on because Iran will not concede two or three goals quickly but I can't see it happening I think Southgate's going to play with a back five. Iran are going to sit back. They're going to park the bus. They're going to try and hit us on the counter-attack. And I think with Southgate playing the two holding midfielders and a back five, I don't think the counter-attack's ever really going to be on. So I don't see Iran scoring against us. I don't. But that does not mean I do not see them picking points against us. A draw is very much on the cards here. England, historically, don't always start tournaments well. And this Iranian team's a difficult team to break down. It isn't going to be a high-scoring game. I really don't think that. Even if England get an early goal, I don't think England will then go on to score two, three, four. It's not the way Southgate plays. It's not the way England play in tournaments. So I can't see any scenario really where there's going to be more than one or two goals throughout the 90 minutes. Who do I fear from Iran? No, no one really. I don't really fear any of their players. They're going to play with one striker, so they're going to be isolated anyway. They're definitely going to play defensive though. Carlos Queiroz has chosen four goalkeepers for a 25-man squad. He's not even taken 26 players for some reason. But out of the 25-man squad, he's taken four goalkeepers so that in itself says an awful lot about how Iran are going to play it doesn't mean though of course they haven't got attacking options of course they have Asman and Tarami in particular stand out but he's only going to play one of them but I think England will see far too much of the ball for Iran to be any significant threat to England obviously though they may get a decision a penalty a deflection anything can happen in football and anything often does happen in football the key for England will be to move the ball quickly we've all been there as England fans where we're against teams that we should be beating easily but if we're not moving the ball quickly we, it is very easy to put 10 men behind the ball and make it very difficult for us to attack. The advantage and the big difference between the two teams is that Southgate does and will have options from the bench. If it isn't working England can change particularly those wide players out. They won't change the striker but they can bring someone else into central midfield as well so their options are there for Southgate in England and I think that's going to be the key really. Really. We've all been there on nights when England are struggling to break teams down, but we've got the players off the bench, and I think that's what will happen in this match. The problem is, though, that Southgate historically has often been late in making some of those decisions, often leaves them till 70 to 80th minute, and then the pressure's on. I'd like to see him make those change early if England are nil nil still on 50 minutes, 60 minutes. We need to be taking initiative within the game. Be interesting to see what he does in that situation, but I just think those players coming off the bench are going to be key, really, in a tight match where. Iran can defend. I think it's going to be quite similar to our opening game against Tunisia. England, like I said, are going to see a lot of the ball. We really have got to take our chances. We are not going to get five or six chances within a half and we've got to finish them off. If we do that, I think it will be a comfortable win, but we won't be 
win 3-4-0. When I say comfortable, I mean 1 or 2 nil. with Iran not posing us much of a threat going the other way. So I think England will have enough, but it's going to be tight. Much tighter than I initially thought. I'm going for a 1-0 England win. I just think the nerves will be there. Make no mistake, all the pressure is on England. So that is going to be the challenge as well. England aren't playing well, neither coming into this match. So I just think a 1-0 at the minute, I would take that. I would take 1-0 against Iran in that opening match. So let me know what you think. Iranian fans, what do you think? I know a lot of you comment on my videos previously. Other England fans, what do you think also? I really want to know your thoughts on this one, but I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Finally, it is here. Even though the World Cup's a disgrace being held there, we've got what we've got. England versus Iran. Monday, bring it on. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.